In Akalani, one of the Lodge of Hod's most difficult missions took place in the quiet village of Glasinar. After the massacre of the population by a pack of unknown creatures, a group of knights was sent to investigate. These brave men never returned home. Venerable Ambrosius decided to solve the enigma of their disappearance himself. Objectives. Each side must exterminate the other. Any side with at least one warrior standing, having exterminated all enemy warriors, is declared the winner. Okay, guys, so thanks again for coming to watch me and Paul play hybrid. Uh, we just had a quick um, practice game before just to get familiar with the, the rules and that kind of thing. There's a, there's a fair bit of uh, complexity in terms of interactions with the cards and that kind of stuff. So uh, Paul thoroughly beat me uh, with my <laughs> griffins before, but it was good, good fun to just play through it uh, once to see how everything went. So we're back to play... The return to Glasenia. Glasenia? Glasenia. Glasenia. Glasenhar? Glasenhar. That's it, Glasenhar. Um, and, um, Laboratory SO11. SO11, so it's a basic introductory to the game. Uh, it's a base. It's a mission that basically needs to kill your opponent. The, the person with the last remaining figure wins the scenario. I uh, only played on four. Uh, adjoining sections uh, of tiles and um, you can see like these single double doorways here and you'll see these which are like passageways which are open sections on the board yeah i was um, noticing that there's even passages that connect separate tiles they're not just there's not just doorways and stuff so you it can help you create doorways to move right so uh, yeah, effectively you can open and close it all, but I think these ones you can't open and close. I think they're, they're just like an open Yeah, section, yeah, it looks like, like a passageway, yeah? Uh, um, now, in terms of like constructing your lists, as you've seen our photos in in the um, previous section of the video, it's got our what, what, what moles we're taking for each force, but each one's constructed based on a rank. And I'll flush up some images on the screen now to show you the cards. But each warrior, like for example, the uh, Venerable uh, Ambrosius has got a rank of two. And my Purifier has got a rank of one. Each mm -hmm. mission will specify exactly what the rank limit is and the la limit of models you can take. So for instance, for the Griffins, we have a, a rank limit of five, uh, which consists of him being two plus three Purifiers, making five total, mm -hmm. and a maximum of five models. Paul, what are you going to take, mate? So I've got an Aberration, who's rank 3. Yeah. And Hybrid, 1, 2, 3. So that's a total of 6. Yeah. And 6, uh, I, I'm actually allowed a little bit more than him uh, for some reason. Maybe it's he's meant to lose. Or is that, I, I didn't necessarily see, necessarily see a difference in power uh, among the cards that he had. Uh, in the last game, at least. And then uh, 1 rank 0 to bring my model count to the total of five. Cool, okay. Um, now, each obviously each of the warriors have different uh, aptitudes, they're called, which are kind of like skills. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go through those as we play through the game because we wanted to have the first video and the first mission to be like an introductory game for us and for you if you've never played it and you really want to know what more about hybrid as some people are interested in, in it. Um, this is going to be the best way. And then from, from there on in, you'll pretty much know how to play the game and um, from mission two onwards. So uh, each map will have an area where the models can set up on the board mm -hmm. in the designated zones based on their rank. So for example, Ambrose is being ranked two, he has, to, he has to deploy in this square here. He cannot deploy in any of the other four squares in this section. Or they can deploy on the outside of the board to come in from here. Mm. In this case, I'm going to set up my guys here, so I'm going to put him there. Um, and the remaining three, they're actually numbered, and there's a reason why that is. We'll come to that later. Uh, if they're multiples of the same profile, I've just numbered them just to keep uh, wound tracking and that kind of thing uh, much better during the game. So I'm going to place all my fighters in this section of the board. 
and then Paul can put his models in the sections where he's allowed to, to put them on in his section. Yeah, I mean, he's got an actual little stairwell, like, entrance. Uh, these guys might have just been locked in here. You know, <laughs> put them in these They're little... In their little tanks. Yeah, put these in a little pod, yeah. you know, tank type. They're breeding things. them, I think, maybe. Uh, with the, ab the aberration has to go in this, mm. this big, ooky He's little spot in hand. here. Yep. With whatever he was eating, yeah. <laughs> or pooping, or whatever he, he had going on, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. and let's put him in his pod. We'll put him in his pod, and put a little pest of flesh in his pod also. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we've set that up. The models are on the board. We know our mission. We basically need to kill each other. Now we've got four little uh, event counters or objective counters. Mm. Now, of the four, one of them is a trap, and we don't know which ones they are because they're blind. We've got this little question mark on it, and we have to mix them all up, put them into the designated areas, which are uh, signified on the uh, on the map on the, in the rulebook. And once a warrior lands on one of those, which will happen, I'm, I'm sure, and during the game, they can flip it over to see what it is. And if it is an event, they draw one of these cards and they can keep it and play it at the appropriate time um, based on what the card says. Uh, and like I can do, if I do it first, then Paul has to do the next one, and like then I can activate another one, mm. and so forth and so forth. Yeah, so, which is good because. Some of mine felt really easily accessible last time, so mm -hmm. if I was just able to get a benefit, get a benefit, get a benefit, it wouldn't be so good. Uh, so this way, if I if I snag a benefit, I have to wait for him to get a benefit. There's actually a lot of rubber band mechanics in the game. You probably see a few more, but like when guys die, you get you'll get cards to help you bounce back from from losing guys. It's pretty that part's pretty good. Yeah, there are a lot of cards, and they look very similar, which is quite confusing. So uh, if you if you first uh, first new to the game, it confused the hell out of me. But basically, these are um, action cards, okay? And these cards you get drawn uh, four per player at the start of the game. So I'm going to do that right now, and I'll flash I'll flash up a graphic on the screen um, to explain what they do. Basically, they have a number and they have some text on it. And you can either play the card as a number to augment your success levels or uh, to hinder your opponent in mm. his success level. Or you can forego the number and just play it by the text, which would give some kind of uh, other effect, maybe stopping him from playing his any action cards for the turn or mm. taking his card back, so forth and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to draw four and look for four. Thank you. Now we'll check our cards. And so you can mulligan can, it if you want. You can mulligan them, but then you can only draw back three. Yeah. And... <laughs> okay. So oh, but I can see why I might want to do that. But even if they have a low number on it, maybe the effect that it has is quite good. So... Plus, when you guys die, you'll get another card drawn from the deck as well. So these are not the only four you'll get. I think I... We'll not gamble and keep those. Yeah, hold on. Hold on to those. Okay, so that that's done. Then, uh, because I've got um, the vulnerable Ambrosius and Paul has some um, characters that can take his army cards. Now I've got aura cards and Paul's got mutation cards for his faction because he's playing Durs and I'm playing Griffins. So we're going to shuffle those. We draw three. We take the two that we like and we we throw back one. There. I think I'm going to take that one. Okay, so I'm going to put that one away and keep those two for Ambrosius. Okay. Okay. Take my art, army events. And then your army event cards. Now these ones here, mine are blue and Paul's are green. Just two, right? We just take two. We can't actually look at these cards because they will be played kind of narratively speaking, even though the, the, t the cards have an enormous amount of fluff text on them. Uh, generally, we don't read them, we just read what the effects are, but um, if you really want to know a lot of the, the source background and that kind of stuff, there's a lot of stuff on these cards. Yeah, I mean, just the way confrontation is, you got to 
pull any sort of information yeah. and background. <laughs> just it's like you, you, you should spend a day reading all the cards yeah. for fun. Like, yeah, I'll leave that for Eric. Uh, Eric, um, he was my wall master on uh, on confrontation. Uh, those guys, like Eric, know all that kind of stuff. I've got no time to read all that. Yeah, but they're, they're pretty cool. They've got some nice thematic kind of uh, flavor text in them. Now you do have this. Um, you do have this play sheet which has um, all of the the models listed on here. So you've got Purifier one, two, and three, which are numbered. My that's why they're numbered on the base with the center shell, which I'm not playing in this particular scenario. And it browses up here. Uh, the, the game comes with a series of counters, like root counters. They've got activation counters. We'll come to that in just a moment because you could place those onto your either onto your models directly, or I just place them on here so it's just easier. Because placing them on the models are just really finicky and trying to get them off. Because uh, all the activations are blind, so you put that you put your activations down first, and you roll for initiative. Who wins initiative can choose to say who's going to go first or second, and then you flip over your counters and then you activate them. Uh, one at a time, alternatively. And um, you've got other counters like defense uh, for uh, expert firing, uh, skilled firing, sorry, and uh, for movement. Okay, so we'll come to the modes in, in when we get there. But um, I think we're ready to go then, Paul. Huh? I think we've got all the cards, action cards, aura cards, army cards. Yep, that's it. Okay, so I'm going to put down our activations now. Let's see if act first. Okay. 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 So we've done that now. Now we can roll for initiative. Now the, the game's actually a D10 based system uh, for all your rolls. So it's basically for initiative, for uh, for combat, anything like that. It's all, all based on a D10. Um, now ones are a crit. Okay. So if you roll a natural one, it's a crit. And a 10 is an automatic failure. So it's kind of reverse of confrontation. One's almost always a failure, but in this is the opposite. And yeah. basically, you're looking for a low number. Yeah, it's on the system. You, they want high numbers to look good uh, on the card. All right. Okay, so in this case, I roll a 7, Paul rolled a 9, which means I win the uh, initiative for this yeah. round. And I'll ask Paul to activate his, do his first activation. Okay. So my first activation is hybrid number two. Okay. So now then Paul will have to nominate which mode he'll be in. Either it's going to be a firing mode, mm -hmm. a movement mode, a defensive mode, or an offensive mode. Yeah, so it'll be in the movement mode. The basic movement mode is uh, plus two squares. Yep. Or, cool. uh, or plus two movement okay. points. Okay. Uh, I forgot to check if the average can open the door himself. So I'm just going to... Uh, aberration okay. can just smash through doors. He's got a Titan ability, so this mm. is the aberration here. He doesn't. He just ignores doors. He just goes straight through them like a charging bull, okay. and he just rips them to pieces. So effectively, you could, yeah, you could have just gone using him if he activated first. Boom, mm. boom, 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 just smash through all those doors. Uh, that's all right. I'll, then I'll let him smash through that, but I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll open over here. So yeah, one, get out of his cage. two, three. Free turn. Yep. Four, five, six, seven to open a door. Okay. And we replace it with a passageway. Oh, mm -hmm. right here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so basically, uh, the movement, the basic movement of a model is on the card, on the reference card. Pulls hybrids of movement seven. And moving diagonally doesn't incur any penalties. You can move diagonally, but you get your free turn, 90 degree turn is free. Opening a door costs one, and moving through a door. On a diagonal, on a diagonal is one. Yeah. Cost another one. That would, yeah. So. Oh, that was seven, right? Seven, yeah. All right, and then eight, nine. Eight, nine the diagonal. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's your first one. Okay, then we'll go to purify number one. So purify number one is going to move two to here. If we turn here, open the door for three. We'll move here to four. And he will move here for five. And sorry, he's going to do move, basic moving mode. Uh, will he do that? I should really nominate this stuff. Let's do moving mode. Five, six, seven, and turn for eight. Because I've got normal movement of seven plus two is nine. So move there for eight. Okay, that's that. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, you're right. Titan, uh, yeah. Oh, Titan is an aptitude. Yeah. Uh, Titan's aptitude, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I, I thought it was just a state of being. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Titans do not incur movement penalties for fallen rocks. They can walk over fire. Titan, uh, simply knocks down doors. Mm -hmm. Titans imposing physique come with their own risks. All shots fire, plus one to hit. All right. Okay. Uh, so two, I believe it was hybrid one. Yeah, that's a hybrid one. It'll also go movement mode, and I think basic is fine. So plus two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You go eight, nine. There's a lot of crossing corners of doors. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Follow up and rose. Yes. We'll go next. Two, three. Turn for three. Four. Four, five, six. Sorry, he's in movement mode again. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, seven. Uh, Seven, eight, nine. Okay. Uh, I believe three is the other hybrid. So three is hybrid three. Uh, you'll go one, two, three, around the corner. Four, five, three turns. Five, six, and go eight, and not free turn nine. Okay, now I'll go purify two. Next activation. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five and move mode again. Sorry, I keep forgetting. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I think aberration was four. Uh, yeah, movement mode. It's just gonna do one to mm -hmm. take. So, one, <laughs> three, Big four. Uh, does he get free ninety? He does. Uh, yeah, and his rules for Titan, I believe, uh, as long as he moves a square, he gets the free ninety every time he moves. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Titans do not incur penalties for falling rocks. Fire knockdown continue. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I might have read that too. But yeah. So as long as he moves, he gets an extra free ninety every time he moves. Oh, okay. Unless it's on the spot and he doesn't move, he gets to, he gets a movement penalty. He if he turns on the spot? If he does 180, he gets a movement penalty one. Oh, okay. Basically. Something like that. Okay. So that was three, right? It was yep. One, here. two, three. One, two, yeah. three. Uh, was it four? One. No, sorry, you're three. You're right, three. Yep. Three. Yeah, yeah, right. yep, yep, yeah. One, two, two three. three. And you said three nineties. Yep. And that's three. Uh, four, five, six. 390, yeah. 7, 8, 9, 10, Whoa. and plus 2. Oh, yeah. yeah it's just there. Okay. Yeah, very scary stuff. Okay, so the last one's the last purifier. 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, and he's moving the games. <laughs> 7, 8, 9. Okay. The story part in the beginning was fun for a hybrid. Yeah, it is. It is it's like, really fun. Yeah. So basically, this this is the this is the opening scene of the uh, the secret echelon of the Griffin Empire coming down here into the sewers and cleaning out all the the doors in their secret laboratory as they have been harassing, killing, maiming, pillaging the poor villagers. Yeah. Which is yeah. Important. I gotta figure out where more coherent, cohesive R clash 
the information is because it, it was nice being able to sit down in one little section of a book and yeah, no, exactly. actually just read and digest a story. Yeah. Uh, last part is Pest of yeah, Flesh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cadwell is probably a good, good place to start too. Is there, is there a book called Cadwell? Oh, you've never seen it? No. Oh, I've got to give it to you, man. Oh, it's amazing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, no, 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 seven. Now, yeah. I can't do, can I, I can't move through him, right? I'm pretty sure you can. You just cannot let Ant, Angel move it on top of him. Oh, yeah? That was the only restriction. Yeah. Uh, that's still, I have enough to go through. Uh, you got 10 movement plus 2. Uh, 7, yeah. 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, does he want to activate it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can afford to activate this. Is it a kaboom? No, it's oh, an okay. right, event so card for me. Regular yeah. event card. Yep. Okay. Uh, I have to get you to take photographs of everything. That's all. Right. All your cards. Yeah. And send it to me. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll keep a, a catalog of stuff. Uh, the the action cards you don't have to. Just the uh, mutation cards. Well, because the action cards will come out. Because yeah, you're, you're going to play the game. those during the game, and then um, just your event cards when you see them, and that kind of thing. Just so I keep reference because those ones won't change. The yeah. action cards you'll get reshuffled in and out for all time. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I think that's all the movement. That's all your movement? Okay, well that's that's me too. Okay. So you've got you've got five got okay, you've got five. Yeah, I got five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You you decide to get a special guy. Okay, so we'll put down our activations now for the second round, so we'll just roll off and see who gets the activation out. At this point, because it's round two, we couldn't do a round one. You can use your, your action cards to improve your role, and your opponent can then hinder if he would like to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I don't see it. It's like we need to be punching like somebody. Not, not now. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's yeah, no so important now. fast draw yet. Oh, right, so right. I got crit so fail. That's a fail. I roll seven, so okay. go through. Um, yeah, just for. So I'm going to play. The, this card for its text. Okay, good. Okay, man. Uh, which is swap all of my cards for yours. Oh, I have, wow. Because okay. I, I have a garbage hand. Oh, you bugger. Okay. Now, yeah, because yeah, that, that screws me because I've only got three cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like a, extra, extra bad. Uh, wow, okay. Thank you very much, Paul. Uh, and then... Okay, that one goes there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that gets that gets trashed. And then trashed. I can't yeah. use these this, this round, but I don't think... We'll have much. Okay, that's a really good card. Okay, nice one. I had a last game too, but I also had good cards, so it. And but this this, this one's a, this one is complete rubbish now. The zero is an <laughs> a, like the zero is an absolute zero. There's it, it does nothing. Wow. So. Okay, so I've been really really crippled here with my action cards already. Yeah, so. and then there was a one there was a one card that just only reduces two from the opponent's one. So if as a hindrance, it's like a slightly better hindrance than a. Regular one, yeah, but that's still not that that good. Wow. Okay. So, I yeah. forget what the third card was. I hope it wasn't that good. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm thinking one of your hybrids are going to go first. I'll let you go activate first. Okay. I believe... Let's see what we can do. Just three because best of flesh then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the best of flesh because he's also a bit in the way. Nobody's in quote unquote Overwatch. No, nothing. No, because we're all moving mode last last turn, uh, last round. All right. So uh, yeah, he'll go movement. I don't know if he can really do much else. He's, he can be. He can go defensive. He can attack. Yeah, he's just basically a walking time bomb. Uh, uh, now with with these little puny, they've got puny as an a, um, aptitude. These small pest of flesh yeah. guys. Basically, they're like walking bombs. Basically, Paul wants to get them into base contact, and they'll explode, inflicting automatic wound on me. Um, and it's hard for me to shoot them because it's minus one because they're so small. But they can't open doors, and they can't claim like mission objectives. They can do the ones here. They can do these ones, 
visible event ones, but they can't do actual missions, I think. So I'll do that. Uh, three, nine, three, one, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay, uh, so I'll go in there, mm -hmm. and I'll activate the toxic zone. Oh. Uh, so this card is used when a figurine enters a game tile. So just enter this game tile. Yeah. Uh, the toxic cloud spreads quickly. Red sores break out on the skin of its victims, and their breathing becomes labored. All figurines located on this tile suffer a reduction in natural value of one in all action modes. Okay. Furthermore, it becomes impossible for a figurine located in the zone or wanting to enter the zone to use the moving mode. If anyone's going to move in there, it, you, you, if your intention is to go in there, you can't go into movement mode. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this modifier is deactivated when the figurine leaves the contaminated tile. The toxic zone cannot be moved to another tile. It only disappears at the end of the game. So I think if you kill him, the gas stops. Okay. But he is in a bit of an annoying spot for that. Mm. And it affects everybody, though. All, yeah. all, right. all figurines are yeah. minus Currently, one. Currently, this purifier is not actually in that Yep, zone. yep. Cool. Okay. Yeah, but anyone who goes in is, is, is at minus one. Right. Okay. So, we'll, um, we'll start with purifier number three at this doorway here. We'll have to open the door for one. Mm -hmm. And... He'll enter for two. Okay. He'll go diagonally here for three. Turn here for four. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, hang on, sorry. Open the door for one, two, three, and three. And he'll go into firing mode. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I should have declared it, sorry. So, yeah, he's going into uh, expert firing mode. Basically, like, like Overwatch. So, this, this is a mode where um, now on your card you'll have. Uh, abilities with, and I'll flash that up on the screen here in just a second, but they'll have a number, they'll have a value to it. So you'll have like a punch dagger, which is like offensive, shield, which is defensive, uh, the swirling mark with an arrow, which is movement, and then have a target symbol, which is your firing uh, mastery level. Um, and they're, they're basically the levels that the maximum you can reach. So anything from one to that, that number, you can enter. So this is a, a third level. Uh, skilled firing, which basically is Overwatch. So when an enemy model comes within line of sight of me, and within ten squares, I can open up and shoot it. Uh, so that's what he's going to do. Okay, so your next activation. Mate. Okay. Okay. Have one. Does. Yeah, I guess. Mm, no defensive mode. Defensive mode. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, defensive mode. I can go up to defense three. Well, I can I can just have to the move. So, uh, free turn. Yep. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Try six there. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll stop there and defensive of up to three. We didn't do any defense last last game. Uh, oh, we did a little bit. The basic parry. Uh, we suffers a wound if he rolls a critical failure, but that's to be melee. You've got some shooting, and then the other one, skilled parry, but also has to be melee, and you might just shoot me. So, yeah, I'll do basic parry. Basic parry, okay. All right, so... Purify 1's number, the second one that I'm going to activate. And he will also go into this skill firing mode. In Overwatch. Okay. Okay. Hybrid 3. Uh, we'll also go into defensive uh, the defensive mode. Mm -hmm. And one, two, three, four, five to turn. Mm -hmm. I will not open the door. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So Venerable uh, Ambrosius, he's going to, he will do the, he'll do the aura of luck. Now this is an aura that um, has an, uh, a, a value of two, so it's the aura of two is an aptitude. So basically two squares around him will affect the other uh, members of his uh, of his force, uh, but not him directly. Um, so the aura of luck basically allows me to make a natural roll, whose natural value is three, plus two, uh, giving five, uh, to uh, rectify any mistake on a dice roll. Um, by a person in my aura, if I make that, if I make a successful roll on that one, on a natural roll of five. So if, for example, I rolled to shoot one of the guys coming in there on my skill firing and I missed, he gets to roll his dice. If it succeeds, he can roll again. So he will do that and he will also go into, you guessed it, skill five. Uh, I believe the next is aberration since the way is finally clear for him. Uh, that's uh, defensive mode or so. Okay, One, defensive mode, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. uh, I three more bits of movement, but I think I'll hang out there. Okay. Uh, and he has defensive five, which I don't know. That's very high, yeah. Uh, which can get me up to master parry uh, 2d10 instead of one for his natural roll and keeps as it suits him. Yep. Uh, but only based on his contact. And. Expert parry is also base to base contact. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Does heroic parry avoid the base to base contact one? Also repels. So, yeah, you need to get to defense six in order for. Uh, it's one and six. The, high, the highest and the lowest level of de defense lets you parry range attacks. Oh, well, okay. All right. Okay. Yes. okay. So he's doing that. So then my last purified, purified number two. He was actually going to go into that objective, but I'm definitely not going to do that now. So mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, turn for free here. One, two, three, four, five. And sorry, it was a move mode. I've been forgetting to do that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And go all the way back. Yeah. The um. The placement, the placement of these objectives are really tough for the yeah for me to get to them yeah you know, the good guys to really but go after them. You only get one, and then I, if I don't activate another one, you can't get another. Yeah, one. yeah, which is good. Yeah, and then yeah, you're just lucky not to draw the trap. So yeah, okay, that's it. All right, so that's the end of our activation. Oh, you got one more? Oh yeah, I gotta catch. I just gotta let this guy yeah. catch up. Okay. Um. I uh, will go defensive too because I. Sure. Right. One, two, three. Yep. Free turn. Four, five, six, seven. And he'll squeeze in here. Okay. okay. All right. Well, that's it. That's the end of the second round. We'll be back in a second once we've placed all our activations. Okay, so activations are set for round three. Yep. And did you want to use any action cards? Honestly, I didn't read what, what you had when I did. It's because I couldn't use them. <laughs> uh, That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to. I'll just let the initiative okay. go. Nice initiative. Okay. Go as it follows at May. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Now, yeah, I'll let you go first. Okay. 
So first is Hybrid 3, mm -hmm. uh, who will do defensive stance, uh, although I'm not going to be able to gain the benefits when I open the door, for one. Okay. All right, so we yeah. got first sight. Yeah, so this, this so comes first in contact. with our, we drew this, uh, these event cards. Yeah, the army the, event cards. The army event cards. So now we're going to draw one. We didn't see what they were before because we just made first contact, line of sight with each other. So, and on the cards, it'll give you some description of when to play it and what it does. Sorry, I'm just trying to read a <laughs> This is it. the one paragraph that leads to, to, to nowhere. Let's see. <laughs> Furthermore, uh, not to, because yeah, it doesn't give the card away. Furthermore, every affected clone is given a chance to roll the dice before the end of the round. It is only applicable if the first roll did not result in a critical fit. Oh, okay, it's a re-roll. Uh, uh, okay. So furthermore, Effective Clone is given a chance to re-roll the dice before the end of the round. Uh, that's un unnecessary. The, the effects of the clone uh, cancel the end of the round. I think it's a re-roll. It's a re-roll, okay. If I'm a, a, <laughs> it's probably been errated or something like that as well. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, that's another thing. Maybe. Some yeah. Somebody worked really hard yeah. to translate it. <laughs> I know. This weren't that good. <laughs> and to think they've done it in German, Italian, Spanish, you know. Yeah. Yeah. This, the, yeah someone's had a lot of, a lot of coffees and uh, headaches to put up. I've money. translated board games with people in Japan before. It's got its, it's, got its challenges. Yeah. But, oof. <laughs> Uh, you want to do this one? Translate this one? Do I want to translate yeah, it yeah. into English or into <laughs> Japanese? Uh, I, 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 can, I can work with somebody to translate into Japanese. First, got to translate the English into English. Mm. Uh, feel more feel more confident in my understanding. All right, so now you're going to get shot. Right. Yep, you got, I get shot in the face. Okay, so basically what happens now, he's on skill firing mode. So I'll go to my card. He's got a success level of three. But he has uh, also consecrated pistols, which give him plus two in firing, which increases my success level now to five. Okay. Now, if I wanted to, I could use one of my action cards to increase that success level. Okay. I'm not within his aura of effect. Okay. Only these two guys are, so I don't get the plus one for aura of luck, unfortunately. Uh, or the, sorry, the, um, the reroll uh, if I fail it. So... Now I'm on five. What the hell? I'm gonna go play another card, action card, so give me plus two. So now I'm on seven, uh, which also increases my mastery level to now six. Okay, so that plus two gives me now six. Yep. Six gives me something pretty cool. The six, you can go all the way up to heroic firing. Heroic firing. Um, Heroic firing is two shots. The action card is going to be used for one of these shots. So it's two. Sh you can do two shots, or you can do master firing for uh, roll two dice, choose the highest on your one shot, or, cho or choose I'm, the lowest. I'm, lowest yeah, the better. I'll, I'll try to go heroic firing, which allows me to fire twice during a round. Okay. Which I believe you can do. Yeah, but I think mode. the plus two is it. I think the plus two only affects the first roll. The, act, the action card's bonus only, oh, only, okay. so only goes to the first right, roll. the first roll. Okay, go, yeah. gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Okay, you want to hinder me at all? No. One of my cards? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to hinder you with any cards. Okay, amazing. Yeah. All right, so I'm on three, four, five, six, seven. That's a hit. Yep. And then that was now now without that card, so it was uh, now five. Yep. So one, yes! Two wounds. two wounds. Suck it up. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Doesn't he doesn't he stay on that though? He stays there. Oh yeah, you're right, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I was I felt like that was you activating for some reason. It's it's yeah, not. Yeah. Okay. So, two wounds. So three. yeah, hybrid three takes two wounds. Yeah, because he's taken two wounds, mm. this will affect Paul's movement by two. Okay, so yeah. he loses two movement plus his natural value is mm. now minus two. So his natural value is three, so now it's down to one. So it makes it really hard for him to actually do anything um, unless he um, unless he 
uses mm. his action cards to bolster that success level. Yeah, I think I said defensive, which so is good a good work for Small you, mistake. Uh, Alright, so defensive one, and then one, two. I bet you Paul would wish he had used one of my cards now. Three. <laughs> to, <laughs> to hinder um, that Yeah, yep. and I'll stay there. You stay there? Okay. In defensive one. Okay. Put a defensive marker down. Okay. Right. Yep. Okay, now. Purify two. He will go into. Oh, although you do lose it now because you didn't eliminate him. Oh, is that what it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right, gotcha. So you, yeah, that's right. You stay on it if you eliminate the guy. Right, mm -hmm. gotcha. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So he's going to go in firing mode, skill firing. He's just going to turn like that, go to skill firing mode. So, one, two, three. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, hybrid one is number two. Okay, I'm gonna go offensive. Okay. Yeah. Okay, going offensive. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, we had to put a passage here. That's right. Ah, yes, sorry. Yep, it's a passage. Oh, I'm open the door. I yep, I'm open the door. Yep. Okay, so hybrid one. Uh, turning full is one? Yeah, for 1A it's one. Oh, 1A is one? Okay. Yeah. So, one. Yep. Two, three. Yep. Four. Five. Six. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't think make it. Huh? All right. Oh, you can. You can get to the next. Uh, you can get to nah. the next square in front of you. I don't make it to you, so I'm just gonna. You're not gonna make it to me. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So you can actually move through your own figures, but you cannot obviously land on top yeah. of them. Um. So that's all good. All right. So I, I'm there in a useless. Oh, I can and shoot. Just... Actually, not. So I can choose a shooting mode. Oh, I didn't choose a shooting mode. I chose an offensive uh, combat mode. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So yeah. I can't yeah. shoot. No. Okay. And I think. Maybe it costs you an extra movement if you move through your own guy. I think. Or to check that. I, it sounds when like When I looked that. before, it didn't seem to say that. Okay. Um, uh, can now can walk through one or more friendly figures as long as they're not in base to contact, whatever their space size. However, impossible to end movement. Somebody really cannot walk. No, it doesn't cost extra. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, so number two is the Venerable Ambrosius. So he's just going to remain on skilled firing mode. Okay. Uh, next is hybrid three. This one I actually checked properly. I, I, I didn't realize that hybrid one was facing backwards, which slowed me down too much. Uh -huh. uh, so this one is uh, one, two. Yep. Free turn. Yep. Three, four, five, six, ah. and gets me in. Yep. Uh, and yeah, I'm using offense. Of it was offensive of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Now Paul's going to check if he's going to use any of his cards, his action cards, yeah. to augment his role and get a be better mastery level. Okay. He wants probably. I mean, he's this stinky one, just in case you want to hinder me. Uh... I don't get too... So let's just go through what your success yeah. level now is now, right? So... Yeah, so, uh, con uh, so C natural value, three. Yep. Uh, and when I'm in offensive combat mode, it's plus two for my neural weapons. So okay. I need a five. I need a six because of this. Yep. And I'll probably just take the... I think I'm going to take the... Uh, Level so you, four. Your master level is now five. You're going to take level four. Yeah, I think I'm going to take level four and take a plus two. Okay, so three, four, five, six, seven. So you're seven, is it? Oh, uh, as you know, this is a one card, right? Yep. Uh, so three, five. Oh uh, yeah, three, five, six, eight, okay. eight. Okay, I'll go down down by seven. Eight down seven. Okay, I, don't, I, don't, I won't play anything back. That's a fine hindrance. Okay. Uh, so I'm down to seven. Okay. Right, so. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I, I apologize. I'm going to use not the points, but the actual effect 
uh, yeah, which sure. re re it reduces your by card by two points. Oh, okay. It's that it's that same uh, the same one that I actually yeah. card by two points. So no, it doesn't. So, it it won't do that because you you only had one one point. Oh, so it, it only affects the only, action card. Yeah, it will only do one. Anyway. Uh, so not your. So it allows not you to reduce size. the value of your average action card by two points. Yeah, it's like yeah, that's so it's extra bad. One. Right. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> absolute crap cards you got you, mate. All right, okay. so it is one and one for a, uh, for a seven or lower to cause a wound. All right, oh, causes one wound. Okay, cause a wound. Okay, so that's on purify number three. He cops a wound. Okay. Now, purify number one will also will Lily. Really... Uh, yeah, he will stay on skilled firing mode. You haven't activated the aberration yet, so I'm just waiting for that steamroller thing to come through there. So yeah, he'll stay where he is. Over to you. This place is just gonna chill out where he is. Okay. And the card I played is mostly just hurting me, but I, I didn't see a good chance to sneak in to bother you. Okay. Now, my last activation is Purify Three, who just you just wounded. Mm. I'm going to. Now here's. Success level now is down to two because he's got taken a wound. Okay. Which puts him in a really bad spot. Um, but he's just going to serve as a roadblock for your uh, hybrids to get through. So I'm going to go offensive mode. And he's got up to three. So skilled strike. If a warrior skill strike mode wounds his target, you can attempt a second attack against the same target. Okay, so I need to be really, really lucky here with some really good rolls, because I need to get two or, two or less. Okay. Oh, hang on, no. So I've got plus one, Sword of the Law. So it goes to um, back to three. So uh, you, what, what, what mode was it, sorry? It was... uh, the Skilled Strike. Oh, you're doing Offensive Combat? Okay. Yeah, yeah doing Combat, yeah, of course. Offensive Combat. So if I, if I wound you, I can roll again. Okay. Okay, first one. Nope. So it doesn't wound. Okay. Nothing happens. Gotcha, gotcha. That's it. Okay. Cool. Alright, uh, aberration. So, can't go into movement modes. Uh, if I go forward. Oh, he's affected by that card as well? The event yeah, card. it's not just enemies, it's, uh... Right, 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 yep, yep, yep. All figurines in the tile suffer okay. reduction natural. Yeah. The only, the only, a better way I, I could, the, the good way I could use it, I guess, is tr you try to take this passage and then park him here, and then like I smoke you out, and you have to come into me. Mm. But instead, I smoke myself <laughs> in, in, into you, kind of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I think we're just gonna go defensive one, and we'll just start there. Mm. We'll see what we can okay. get out of. Well, oh, very cautious aberration. Okay. So for you, yeah. That's it. That's it for me. That's it for you. Uh, that's it. That's yeah. It. That's yeah. The round. You playing Blood of Darkness? Yeah, which is a regeneration ability. Okay. Uh, so only rank one figures can benefit from it. Because uh, you know, my injured guy is rank one. Uh, he's pressing a natural roll plus two. So it, basically, I'm only going to regen on a three, okay? Because my natural value is sure. reduced. Yeah. Hey, I got it. So I re nice. re recover one wound. Nice. All right, so that was my spontaneous mutation card. Okay. Nice one. All right. Okay. And <sighs> okay, I'm set. I'm going to change aura. I'm going to go for Aura of Bliss, uh, which basically gives anyone in my aura plus one to all of their natural rolls. Okay. 
Okay, mate, you've set your um, yep. activation, so set. let's roll. Uh, do you want to add any? Oh, yeah, I've got a amazing mm. zero that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> so I'm just going to throw that in the bin. Yeah, because it's basically show me all well, your you cards. Could draw, you could draw a card that puts it on me. I'm not sure if that matters, but... No, nah, it doesn't matter. I'll just throw it out. So, basically, you yeah. need to draw a lot of cards for me to even worry about what you've got in your hand. Yeah, I'm not going to touch it anyway. Four. Four. Five. You win the activation. All right. Yeah, I'll go first this time. Yep. Yeah, okay. I'll go with... Hybrid 2. You have to like lead guy. And he will do. Yeah, offensive. Yeah, offensive combat. Okay. And. Yeah, I think I'll just try and go straight. I'll go with the skilled for 7. Mm-hmm. Alright, because oh, nice. it goes seven. Yep, very good. I mean it's was it skilled four, is that what it is? Uh, uh skilled should be three. Uh, ex four, expert four. strike is, is expert yeah, strike is plus two. Expert yeah. strike, not skilled strike. Right, right, right. Which gave me plus two and then plus two and then base three. Yeah. So hit it right on the head. So yep, one more wound level. Okay. Not good. All right, so my first activation was actually Purifier number three, the one you just wounded. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to just play uh, Fiery uh, Favor, which is the um, uh, event card, the army card I drew. Play this card at the activation of any figure. The agility and de dexterity of the fighter ben benefiting from it increases spectacularly. His moving mode and movement value is increased by one point each. If the fighter then suffers a wound, then he doesn't benefit from this additional square in movement any longer. Mm. If the fighter then suffers a wound, so after, or after that he's dead. So, um, the modifier cannot be recovered even the fighter's healing, uh, healed during the game. Okay, so he's going to plus one to his movement. I'm going to go movement mode. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... His movement is normally 7, minus 2, it's 5, plus 2, 6, 7, plus that is 8. Okay. Yep. And I'm just got two, got two wounds. Yeah, as long as minus 2 or whatever it was. 7, 6, 5, plus the movement mode, basic movement mode, plus 2, 6, 7, plus that is yeah, 8. Yeah, 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 yeah. A net plus 1, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. Trying to chip any paintwork here. It increases by one. So it's one, two, open the door, three, four, five, six, open the door, seven, eight. Okay. And the five master moves. Six, seven, eight. eight. If, if, if yeah. you're, so I, I think you wanted the, the speed, but yeah, if you did the five master move, you also get the ability to give me minus twos to hit. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't, because my master level is only three. For so movement? For three, max. No. Um, oh, sorry, four, four, sorry, it's four. Four, and that, and that card brings you to five, but... Oh, does it? Yeah, it, 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 the, um... it increases your movement and your movement skill. Ah, so. right, okay. It's interesting. But opening the doors were very useful still. Yep, okay. So we'll do that. Well, I think we yeah, just switched changing. the wrong kind of passage here. This is uh, a double okay. door. Ah, it's a double door. Sorry, you're right. Yep. Okay. So he went and got his buddies. Yep, got the aura. Back to his papa. Ambrosius. Okay. Okay. Um, hybrid. Okay. Hybrid three. Oh no, he keeps that one. Sorry, he keeps it. He keeps it until he dies. 
Kent hybrid three. Nope. Oh, that's hybrid one. Yeah, hybrid one. Is there a passage here? Uh, oh, there's two, yeah. Oh, uh, maybe that's the passage that was supposed to be. Yeah, okay. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, it's this hybrid. You can go defensive. Uh, you can go up to defensive three, which I think that defensive two and defensive three are about like hindering the opponent. Uh, two. Oh, no, no, they're just different kind of parries. Different kind of parries, yeah. Can we use oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a movement that hinders people. Okay. So the enemy suffers really few rolls of critical on this attack. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, but yeah, with you, yeah, with you being uh, mostly just able to shoot me in the face if you want to, I'd probably go defensive. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And he's in defensive. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay, Ambrosius is next. Uh, I know you want me to come out there. worried about this this flank being opened up now so um yeah and your shooting shooting angle vision starts out in front of you so like this guy's side is yeah it's on a 90 basically yeah yeah, yeah the shooting's on a 90 degree angle um let's see So I'm worried about that aberration coming. Okay, he's gonna stay. He's gonna stay where he is for now. Okay. Okay, and still in the still in the skill firing mode, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh My ouchied hybrid <laughs> that is healing yeah. slow that is hopefully gonna heal slowly here. Uh -huh. Uh go defensive again, defensive one, one, two, three, four, free. Okay. Kind of chill here. Alright. I've got a purifier two. Which is this guy here? They're both on defensive now, are they? <laughs> yeah, I've got the feeling I'm going to be like stuck in the bottleneck in a minute. Like, <laughs> like in the pincer movement, I should say. And your aberration hasn't activated yet? No. Yeah, yeah, him and the Pest of Flesh have to go. Okay, I'll stay there for more round. Okay. Uh, if he does come out, I think it's one, two. Oh, and actually, you'd have to go three. Mm. Yep. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Eight. Boop, boop. About to do. And I hope I get three crits out of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have to do mo uh, movement one to get there. Come on, Abby. You know you want to. What's his facing? He's facing there. Oh, he's facing? He directly out there. Oh. He, he moved diagonally into there. Oh, okay. I didn't have enough movement to turn him around, basically. Um, but he opened a door, right? He opened a door? He has to be facing directly, f directly forward to open a door. Okay, all right. Well, in that case then he will end his movement there. Oh, so he's still in a room and... Okay, gotcha, gotcha. 
Uh... Okay. All right, then. Uh, yeah, Aberration, uh, Pest of Flesh is four. It's going to stay there. Uh, aberration uh, is going to stay there. <sighs> okay. Well, hang on, I've got not another one to go. Purify number oh, one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I guess oh, I guess then aberration nice. is not has not gone yet. Yep. This guy in defensive mode? No, he attacked you. Good. Okay, so I'm going to go into firing mode. Turn here. Mm-hmm. One, two, three. I'm gonna take a shot of these guys. I can't sit back and wait. So I'm gonna go. It's got four expert firing. Uh, that does nothing. So, oh well, yeah, nothing. Just basic firing. I need really, I need really near five because you nerfed my action cards. I really needed an extra, extra level to do anything spectacular. So, he's gonna shoot him. Okay. Uh, I need three plus uh, five. So. Yeah, no cards. I'm not going to hinder. It's yeah, okay. it's a wound. Okay. One wound on every, on hybrid two. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think that's the end of the round. Okay, let's see if hybrid three regenerates. Yep, let's roll for regeneration. Natural value plus two, so four. No. I forget what round this is. I think it's round four, isn't it? Something like that. Okay. Well, I'll find out later. But okay, so you're gonna play any action cards? No, I'll just take straight initiative. All right. Here we go. Seven. 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 Two. Two. You go. All right. Nice. I think I'll go first, and it's purify number one. This guy here. Yep. You're going firing mode. We go back two, yep, two, and shoot him. Okay. That's a fail. No, okay. Okay, your turn. All right, hybrid one is this guy here. Mm -hmm. What mode's he going in? Uh, offensive combat. Okay. Is... Five, free turn six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he's fresh. Um, okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, let's do the plus two. I'll just take my seven. All right. Three, does yep. it? It was a wound. Yep. So that's on pure hard one. Okay. All right, you go. My wounded, injured purifier number three. Mm. Now, I wonder if I move here, will I be able to see him? Uh, you have to use a. Uh... Use the, use, okay, I can yeah, yeah. use, yeah, okay, I can do that, okay. So let's do that, let's go firing mode. One, two, three, four. Okay. And, and then use the master level four, the expert firing, and there's where to target enemy who's hidden behind another adversary, one adversary only. If the enemy is not located within the warrior's direct line of sight, he must be within the firing warrior's view. Expert fire cannot be used to fire at a puny enemy behind. Okay, okay, right. Okay. So I can shoot. Yeah, so him. the the shooting skill level four lets him shoot past his friend. Exactly. 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 Okay. So now he's wounded twice. Okay. So mm. he's down to two. Uh, sorry, down to one. But I'll get plus two. So I'm back up to for the three. weapon. Okay. Yeah, for the weapon. Okay. Yep. No. That was worth a shot. All right. Okay. Uh, 
yeah, hopefully we, there's not too many of these uh, completely draining, awful cart that like, because mm. I mean I don't know if you want to use it on that on him anyway, but uh, it's very difficult to really uh, to, to get to, get through difficult situations without, without the cards. cards yeah. yeah, yeah, basically I need someone to die. <laughs> to get, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to get a yeah, card. Yeah. All that's, right. that's a really powerful card though. Yeah. It's really uh, cool. hybrid two. Yeah. Right. Uh. All right, so yeah, let's let's get into some fun. So hybrid two mm -hmm. is going to go free turn ninety. I think Paul wants to get me One, out of the expert <laughs> skill firing mode. Two, That's okay, do it. Okay, so yeah, number one, we'll go first. Um, so he is number two. Number two, fresh. So he's three, five. And it fails. Okay, number three will go next. Ambrosius has got plus two in firing precision rifle. So he's on five. Yep, scores a wound. Okay. Now they both come off the firing, which is Paul. Just basically what Paul wanted me to do so he get his aberration in there safely. Okay. No. There's a uh, free turn one, three, mm -hmm. uh, three, yeah, six. Now yeah. six because of the wound. Yep. Uh, well, I had one wound on my already. So oh, really? So, 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 was, so if I only have five total then. Okay. Uh, what, 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 uh, one. is he moving? Is it moving mode? No, no, it was, uh, Oh, I didn't. I didn't call a mode, did I? Okay. Uh, call mode first. No, it's gonna be defensive. But I, I think my intention was gonna be defensive. But then you would have got a parry. Oh, you're right. You're right. All right. So is it just a natural roll? So it's minus two. Natural roll minus. Now, now you haven't taken the wound yet. Yeah, minus one. Oh, oh sorry. Wait. <laughs> Four. I think. Yeah, it does it. It. No, it'd be fair. No, it'd be fair. Because he's okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. If it's just a straight natural roll, there's right. no real bonuses. Uh, I mean, defensive mode. I've got plus one. Okay, so plus one. So this. But it's still plus one minus one. If I was fresh, I would have. I would have been okay. Okay, all right. Okay. But. Oh. Okay. All right. So yeah. So I. Oh, also, uh, I don't. Uh, no, I don't get it because I don't get to choose my mastery level until my move's finished. Ah. So yeah, that's right. There. The, uh, it's it's right, going to be right. parry in the end. Right. Um, gotcha. But now, so from down to five, that's free turn. Then one, three. Uh, yeah, I'll do four, five. Okay. You go. Okay. Purify two. He will... Now, he's on two wounds? Yeah. Good. He'll go into uh, offensive mode. One, two, three... Offensive combat, going to melee. Offensive combat, yep, melee. Yep, so I'm going to strike him down with all the power with my sword of the law. <laughs> Is there anything that makes the offensive combat better than the shooting? Or uh, Well, basically, it's it's I'm getting plus two in firing. But, the yeah, actually, shooting is much better for these guys. Shooting is much, much higher in success rolls. Um, but how yeah, let's do let's do let's do hand in combat so okay. it's uh, four yeah I'm sort of putting myself at a slight disadvantage here but it's a combat four oh, okay plus uh, no so only three skilled strike so if I wound you I can attempt a second attack at the same time which I think one wound will do it anyway yeah you can do more damage that way I guess and nine will no. fail it no. yeah if it Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the Aura of Bliss, uh, which gives him plus one to all natural rolls. But in this case, it did nothing anyway. Mm. For the yeah, end, nine's pretty bad roll. But for him, I should have got a plus one as well. I keep forgetting about that. Yep. Uh, I was just checking that because you had conviction. I was just curious what I might do. Oh, yeah. Uh, it remains with the radius warrior prof uh, profits from a positive modifier of X points on the SL 
of his offensive and defensive combat roles. Wow. Uh, so there you go. The squad, I didn't even look at that. The squad leader is the warrior in the group endowed with the aura aptitude. If several warriors are endowed with the aptitude, is is given to the one with the highest value. In order to benefit from the aptitude, the warrior must be within located within eight squares or less, which you are, as long as he is within the radius. Uh, so you got plus one on all offensive and defensive combat rolls, just because of plus this conviction here. Okay, plus one to all. Okay. Offensive. Yeah. So you guys are actually probably a little bit better than we've been playing them the whole the entire game. Oh, okay. Two games. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, there you go. Thanks for thanks for Paul for pointing that one out. I didn't even look at I didn't even look at that. that yeah, I mean I one. I haven't gotten around to some of the things like, like brutish strength and stuff. Okay. Um. So you went first. You activated three. All right. So I'm on my third. So one. I, yeah, I activated three. Mate. Yeah. So. Okay. And no one's dead yet. All right. So hybrid three is gonna go. Um. One. Free turn. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four. So, uh, there's an offensive combat mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I was going to take this offensive roll. Uh, I'll do the plus two to hit. Uh, so it's plus two from being in offensive combat, plus two for the mass, not master strike. What's what's the level four again? Level four. Is there skilled? There's skilled uh, is three. Expert, expert. All right. Yeah, plus two. So the expert strike. Yeah, you're always doing plus two anyway. Uh, so plus four, six, six will get it. Okay. You two. did it. Yeah, cause yeah. a wound. So that one from purify number one. Okay. And then go to the venerable. Now, he's shooting his four, which means I can shoot past friendly guys. Now, your hybrid number two has got uh, two wounds. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the one yeah. sitting right here. I'm going to try to shoot him. Okay. So at uh, three plus two is five. I'm at five. Okay. Yep, does it. He's gone. Okay. Which means it sucks because you get an action card. <laughs> is this the event card you haven't drawn yet? Uh, this one is. Okay, you can draw that one then because you, you, you oh, uh, the first one died. So when the, the yeah, first I, person I, I, dies, before, you draw the event card again. I just want to check because so, I do I, I have this uh, thing that could stop below my last sure. one level, but yeah, yeah. I think I die at the end of the round and it, it's, he's already gone, so... Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it'd probably just be better to hold it for the next time. Okay. Okay, uh, so yeah, I draw my other army event, and I get one, uh, guy died action card. Yep. Okay, it is. Okay. That's hybrid two, right? He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Yeah. Um, is my activation? Uh, yeah, my yeah, four. My, yeah, my activation. Yeah, your activation, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah so. All right, so Pest of Flesh. Here he comes. He's going to go he kind of turn around for one, okay. two, three, get out of here. That's the end of his move. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. All right. All right. And then uh, I can... You know, all right, now. Uh, figurines under the influence of... Your if the warrior is wounded, one of his... If one is not wounded... Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hold it for a second. Hold that for a second. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So, what this lets me do is this lets me actually use the movement mode because I kind of deactivated my toxic cloud. I took the ah, little farty boy out of here. Into the other room now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. And because I think I still need because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and it only puts me to diagonal on him, which is not engaging. So, yeah, I gotta go movement one, so I get plus two move. Mm -hmm. And so, I'll go one, two, three, and you say free 90s, right? Mm -hmm. uh, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, you live in diagonal? Oh, uh, I could go diagonal, uh, yeah, but I can also go 12 and just go with the big guy, your big oh, guy. Okay, yeah, Ambrosius, yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, oops, sorry. Yeah, I might just go with the big guy. Okay. The old man. Now, you've got, you've got um, some wicked skills. You can basically push me back two squares into the wall and cause a wound. Yeah, yeah. The, and that kind of thing. I'm just going to go through that. Yeah, if I kill anything, I get plus frenzy. Uh, yeah, it's offensive combat mode, definitely. Oh, no, no, it's movement. Never mind. Never mind. Movement. Right? So, uh, and it's, it's so I don't get the, I don't get the plus three for his fused weapons because I'm not in offensive combat mode. Right. Um, I'm working on a base five. Um... Yeah, you know, let's play this three and just try to make sure I get him while the getting's good. So why can't he use the plus three for offensive combat? You're in movement, but you're in offensive mode, aren't you? No, I'm in movement mode. So then you can't go into offensive, you can't attack. Can't attack at all? No, you can't attack at all. Oh, as, far really? as I understand, yeah, because you have to choose one of the modes. Oh, no, I guess that... Okay, okay. Yeah, no, I... I, I... So... I mean, that's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right, Paul. Just check. Yeah, you probably you're probably right. You have to choose yeah. one of the modes. You can't in intermix them. That's uh, the thing. Yeah, yeah, because the attacking is based out of. Just Otherwise, you would attack itself. and go into defensive mode. You, you can't do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Um. Sorry, it's not a great solution. Oh, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, well, I think that means... Um, so yeah, you, and, you, wanted, and, you wanted to do that then? Just move right up to in base contact like that? Yeah, yeah, because I'm pretty sure... Just check just check yeah. the Brutus charge because maybe you can move up there and then poof, smash into him. No, I think Brutus strength is when it hits. There's a thing. Uh, is it? Okay. Like an undefended... If you're, if you're attacking undefended model... Maybe uh, you need to do that. I don't know. Well, you, you, you successfully attack. So, during offensive combat, if a warrior succeeds in an attack. Right, that's why. Okay, good yeah. job. Okay. Oh, wow, I'm saved. Thank goodness for that. Yeah, I mean, I, I still. I get mauled to death. I still wanted to not get shot for free. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, you did, you did very well there in doing that. Okay, so a new round. Um. Yeah, place our activation counters. Surprise, no one of mine guys, none of, none of my guys have died yet. So mm. I think I will change this round with the aberration in the fray. Yeah, uh, since I have the advantage with this, I'm going to put two in. Sure, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Okay. Plus two. Oh, you oh, fluffed it. Lot of fail. Nice one. Okay. Oh, okay. I did not fluff it. I rolled a nine. I'm very, very narrowly close to fluffing it. So I'm definitely going to go first because I want to try to get some wounds on this bugger okay so the old man is going to activate and he's going to just spend two to move back here okay um and then try to shoot you so it's four Yeah, there's nothing really. I need really need that extra. I really need that action card to boost him up. Yeah, I just got to hope for. I just hope to get a crit and do some t do two wounds on him. Okay, so it's three plus two for five. Nope, so it failed it unfortunately. Okay, over to you, mate. Okay. Yeah, it's aberration. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna chase the old man. I'm just gonna hope he fluffs your roll. Yeah. Basically. I'm just gonna really hope because if you get it through offensive combat he, mode, he smacks him into the wall and he cops another wound. Uh oh, so. seven. Mm -hmm. uh, 
<laughs> so because in the yeah, book, yeah, I know. I thought, I thought in, in the book they talk about like and in, in like in, in some a, it's like a secret a secret level <laughs> seven, but the like the first thing the base thing in the box has a seven. Uh, okay. I don't know why? Because you can't. Uh, well, the only way you could lower it is through action cards. Mm. So I could I could um, I could nerf your your level by yeah. using an action card. I think that's the only way, reason why he said it. Okay, uh, but in any event, seven. So I can do all the way up to or heroic six. strike, which yeah. is if it succeeds, it's two wounds. So yeah, I should do that. You should do that. You should just finish him off because the brutish charge will kill him. Yeah, the brutish charge will kill him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, no regular kills him because he he because I've brutish I've the brutish strength two, and you take one wound for every space you can't move. Oh, okay. And so, so against, against the wall, it's yeah. automatically two. So I should yeah. make sure I hit. So this is the one of the problems of me, cornering up into this into the side of the of the room here, mm. not giving myself enough space. Uh, okay. So yep, yeah, go for it, mate. Let's um, hope, hope and pray you fluff this roll. What's your what's and, your yeah and you, and you don't have cards we know so yeah like I'm gonna have to... I would put something in to be able to block your hindering so think... if you kill him I get this event card plus another action card yeah that'll be my blessing uh, so yeah I'll do the master strike for two d ten okay and choose the lowest okay. uh, because I'm already natural five yep. plus three for it, uh, the offensive combat bonus from his weapons so an eight. Yeah, so eight or lower on a, a, with two chances at it. All right, hits. He's dead. Pushes him to, through to strength two, but it's two wounds hitting the wall instead. You should just go outside here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe. That's maybe, the aberration. Maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's just yeah unconscious up. <laughs> he's, he's he's talking to Marin right now. Yeah. And he's on a call. Maybe back uh, and then I get a frenzy bonus of plus one now. So I frenzy, That's right. which is if I kill something, I get plus one to my natural rolls, I think. Yep. Up to two? Uh, up he two? only has frenzy one. Frenzy one, okay. So that, that's the maximum bonus he'll get. Right. Uh, I, think there's a pro I think there's a mistake in, that, in the rules. For what? It? With with frenzy with the with the example oh, yeah. it gives, it's got like frenzy one. He kills two and he gets plus two for all his natural rolls or something like that. Oh, is that like one of those weird things of... where you can like frenzy zero? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so just be mindful of that. If you go to the rules, just just check it. Maybe it's been errated. Maybe it hasn't been. But um, like mutation zero. And... I'll put a link in the description for the the aristoric aristoric. Er Esoteric, esoteric gamers. They've made a helpful guide uh, for playing hybrid, which is I really recommend uh, using because it really uh, clears up a lot of those mistakes. Uh, on okay, no, it's not a maximum of one. He can uh, so I can keep accumulating more and more through frenzy. But yeah, okay, so. But that's the thing because we've got frenzy no, one. You yeah, we have one. Uh, but no, here it says it kills two in the example. So if you if I kill two two models, I do get plus two. Plus two. Okay. Uh, it's a, that just seems scary to it's not to, it's to, to, to it's not a, cap that. He is insane. This guy. <laughs> Hopefully so. nothing has frenzy two. Yeah, yeah. Unless maybe it's like a pest of flesh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're just one really angry. <laughs> Oh, okay. Frenzied food ball. Yep. Yeah, flesh ball. Okay, so my turn. Your two. Let's hope we do something good here. Purify two. This guy here. Uh, well, and he's being line of sight, so he's going to um, he's going to go in firing mode. One, two, three, four, five. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got, I've got two wounds on him. Oh yeah. So one, two. I mean, your line is. Isn't that per, isn't that pure fire two? Oh, sorry, pure fire yeah, two. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six to here. Okay. And shoot in the back, which does nothing, but I hope that gives some kind of significant effect in this roll. It hits. Yeah, sure. So yeah, yeah. it's going to be a wound. Yeah, you, you no longer have your conviction bonuses, but yeah, that'll hit. 
So it's just a wound, right? Yep. All right, so my natural value goes to four, from down from five to four. So he, he has effectively five wounds. Yep. All right, your turn. Okay. Uh, it's hybrid bonus pest of flesh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just I'm just burning. Uh, I wanted to burn an activation in the mm-hmm. middle of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know when he activates, I'm just gonna mm-hmm. use regenerative fluid on hybrid three. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll heal the hybrid hybrid three. The options were if he's either re- recover a wound or uh, if the warrior is not wounded, his natural value is increased by one point until the end oh, of the round. Nice. But, Very good. Uh, yeah, oh, it's okay. I'll just go with fully good. healthy guy yeah. instead. Very good. Okay. Purify number one. So it's this guy here. Um, yeah, a bit of a jam here. But I'm going to attempt to go into firing mode and I'm going to move. So basically, get the free one here. Mm hmm. Then that's going to be two, three to move here. Mm-hmm. Which one is wounded? I healed everything. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay, I'm going to shoot this guy. Yep. So, uh, yeah, and there's no locked in combat in the game. So, yeah, you might have seen us move some models out of base to base contact already. Um, yeah, there's no, yeah, no penalty for that. So he's got, he's got two wounds, brings down to one plus two, so it's back to three. No. Doesn't do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, because he's just shooting, and there's there's no bonuses. Yeah, no other bonus. Now now that Ambrosius is gone, his auras are gone. Yeah. Unfortunately. So, the old man, rest in peace. Yeah, because so the firing skills, one just lets you shoot, right? Mm-hmm. Two lets you shoot. Any uh, without without needing to see forward. Three sixty. Yeah. Three is Overwatch. Four is shoot past one person. Yep. Uh, five. You need to be all the way up to five before you can roll two dice and choose the lowest. Mm-hmm. And then six. Yeah, so you need you can really shoot five, five and six are the sweet spots you need. To yeah, where you can actually, actually hurt actually people. Do yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. Uh, Not to say the other ones are uh, invaluable. It's just that it's very situational. All right, so do hybrid one. Uh, I think it's definitely offensive stance. And yeah, let's just charge in. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you guys are just at one one each, so I'm gonna go to the plus two to hit. Okay. So it's plus two. It's three plus two for the weapons, plus two for the combat stance, level four. Mm-hmm. Seven. You got it. Yep. He's dead, and I think. That's pretty much game, mate, because I think this yeah. guy's on, is already on two. Okay, but we'll activate him just to finish off the round. Um, so we'll activate. And... Oh, when you get a card? I'll get a card too. You're right. You're absolutely right. Did I get a card for... I didn't get a card for Ambrosius. <laughs> Forgot about that. Okay, well, that'll, that'll help a lot because that'll... Um, That'll mean he'll actually be able to do... I've got two guys here. One's fresh. Yeah, okay. They're not all like... Maybe maybe I should put my glasses on. I can actually see things. See what the hell's going on here. Okay, so... So he can't fire like this because he's in base contact. Which means he'll have to move out of the way. Which he will do. So he'll be in firing mode. It's three, one, two, three. Yeah, the, to shoot him. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. diagonal's not not yeah, base to base. Hand, base. Base to base. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Oh, well. oh you, yeah, you can use a card. Sorry, I'm gonna use a card. I'm gonna use that card then. Can it can it increase your? So it's gonna be down to one. And you can go up two, to six, three, four, five. So you can do the heroic firing for two shots. Two shots. I'll do two shots. Okay. Yep. I think the second one hits even with the minus two, to... right? Because yeah, your gun's yeah, plus two. Minus two, plus two. Yeah, right, so it's two wounds. Two wounds, nice one. So there you go. Ian, a really, really wounded 
fighter can still prove to be quite useful just having the right action cards. Okay. Alright, and I got my last hybrid. Who would you... Three, one, two, three, four. Okay. In there. And, uh, yeah, it's an offensive stance with mm. uh, expert. So it's plus, plus two? four. Plus, so, yeah, plus yep. two, plus two for seven. All right, oh, and critical. as a crit on top yeah, of that. He's yeah. gone. Yeah, nice one. So it's two wounds, but we only need the one anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So that's purify number three. So he's been scrubbed. Yeah, you got one healthy guy. Yeah. <laughs> so he's the healthy guy. This guy's gone. And the aggressor's gone. Wow, one guy left. One guy to save the day. Can he do it? Praise Mirren. We shall find out. That's the end? Uh, yeah. All right, cool. Any, nothing else to do? No, no nothing in a region necessary. And do I need to draw another card? I do. Draw another card. Okay, that's it. We'll come back for possibly the last one. Okay, well. Initiative? Initiative, it is. Yeah, I'm not going to add anything. Um, oh, botched again. Yeah. Okay. Oh, watch Double two. botch. Uh, seven. Two. two. Alright, so you can go first. Okay. Make the best of it. <laughs> yep, I think I will. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to shoot the aberration. Just okay. So I can just take this big beastie down. Uh, so I am... Yeah, you're going to use the cards. Now he's fresh, so he's at three. Uh, three, normally success level, now five. Uh, I'm going to go up by two, bringing his master level to six. Okay. And success level two. I'm going to okay. hinder by three. Right, okay. Okay, so hinder by three. I'll go up by one. Okay. So it's just down to minus two. So I'm still down to five. Um, um, it's a wash, right? It's... Yes. it's a, yeah, it's a wash. It's a wash. Mm. So my master level is still four. Oh, okay. Because... Uh, hang on. Does, that it, one, it, does it affect? Does this one affect? I'm not super clear on it. I think it might only be affecting the skill value. Ah, right. So it only affects your natural, natural value. Yeah. yeah. Success, uh, maybe, maybe. Level. Yeah. That, that that part I wasn't super clear on. Um. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Declares action, action card. Offensive combat. Natural values four. <clears throat> And it's the action value card. Subsequently, he wishes. Furthermore, the clone benefits plus two. Uh, if these action points are used for hindrance, they are employed as negative modifiers on the action mode of the adversary and his SL. Yeah, so it does drop you back down. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you you pushed it up to six, and then I brought it down to three and then you brought it back up to four. four. So yeah, your highest mastery level is expert. Okay. Which is four. See, you can't do the two wounds. I can't do the two wounds. You gotta roll a crit. Oh, so close. Roll yeah. two. Okay. But that inflicts another wound on uh, the yeah. bugger. They should get a plus one to hit these bastards. Well, they, they do. I do? With the conviction that you didn't use it all. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. Okay. Oh, right. yeah, they do have plus one to hit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just gotta not have your, your guy get squished. And... So I've got, I've got to be with eight eight squares. Of yeah, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty easy to be in that uh, aura range. Um, it's just that we didn't know the rule yet. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, to <laughs> I totally didn't even think about. It. I didn't even see that. I don't know why. I was just curious. Yeah. I, I focus on the offensive and the, and and the firing combat bonuses. I didn't even see that thing. Yeah, and then like it, it stuff because because like velocity. I still don't know if velocity is on the on the. Uh, Oh, Pest of flesh. flesh. So I'll, 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 I might have been missing out on something. I, I also don't know how to use sacrifice yet. So yeah. Oh, sacrifice is great because you just walk up to the base contact and just go. Oh, so you, they explode. They explode. All right. But you don't get the action card because you sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Automatic. Meanwhile, I've just been sitting, I've been sitting back I was here. Also, so surprised you didn't come up and charge you. That's because I just don't know the rule yet. <laughs> but I would have shot the shit out of it in the first few rounds. But then, yeah, mm. then later you could have got it. You could have snuck in there and grabbed me. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, but you mm. didn't need to because you just need to take an aberration and you've um, basically got the game. But the, the hybrids are awesome too. But yeah, let's call it there. Okay, no problem. Because I think it's basically a foregone conclusion now that you know you're gonna yeah. sweep and clean up the <laughs> the, the dirty, one, yeah the one guy. Dirty blood yeah, we just wanted to see if he could <laughs> do anything heroic at, at the, the end. But yeah, but um, but good game. Thanks again, Paul, and thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope this gave you some insights into the board game itself of hybrid it is a good game i think me and paul enjoy it and um we hope to bring you the second one soon the second mission what's the second mission mate uh because i think it's a bit more detailed i think, I think if they're in if they're in order we it goes into yeah, this, uh, a, a six order. tile rectangle uh where i've got some entrances yeah, basically, we need to escape, I think. We, we're, we're in the central part of the Yeah, it looks like it. And we need to get out of there. And it's so, uh, well, we need seven, seven rank totals for Griffin, eight for Scorpions, and then six model max for Griffin, eight for Scorpions. Mm. The, the third one, there's finally even numbers. Griffin's at a, a, what looks like a disadvantage again. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why the scenarios seem to be unbalanced. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're no, just maybe because we missed the maybe yeah, because we missed the conviction rules. Yeah. Like the things could have been stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that is that it's it's thematic, I guess. But yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. But, I, guess, I guess the Terminators and Space Hulk also have a hard time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Maybe it's sort of leaning towards the. Uh, the der side a bit, but that's okay. Um, we we're, go we're going to introduce heroes, of because there are quite a number of different profiles that came with hybrid through Cry Havoc magazine. Yeah, I, I printed a Kami here card. Yeah, because yeah, Paul printed all the cards off from. Uh, well, not, I don't know if it's all, but as many as I can find anyway. But um, yeah, we'll introduce new profiles. So that's one aspect that I really like about hybrid is that you can introduce lots of different profiles. It's not like Space Hulk where you've got Terminators and um, well, depending what edition you play, but you know you've got a whole array of different um, models you can select with different abilities, which is really cool. And um, yeah, I like that. So. Uh, yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know in the comments if we did something wrong, or you know, if you've played hybrid and you think, oh, actually it should be played this way or whatever, let us know in the comments. But I think we've got most of it right, apart from the conviction. Uh, yeah, was, um, I, I think there's lots of stuff we, we probably did wrong. Maybe. maybe, I think we've got most of it right, though. Well, we've got it yeah. right enough to play, so. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Considering right. it's... We had one one practice game and one yeah, real game just now. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, I've been trying to read on the train, but I keep falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's probably the, the rule book effect, I think, putting people to sleep. I think trying to get through that bloody thing. But um, okay, guys, thanks for watching. We'll uh, catch you again next time. Voice over by Owen Staten. You can find me on the Time Between Times podcast or Spectre of the Sea. If you want to contact me, Owen Staten at AOL.com. Dio Hambauer.